Hello, Jason here. Today is Sunday, December 13th, and this is your Week in Review. So we had a good week here at the Oil Trading Group. Um, I had one losing trading day this week, and it was a day that, quite candidly, I let get away from me in terms of uh, being caught up in the chop. I don't let that happen to me terribly often, but it happened to me on Thursday of this past week. I'll show you the numbers here in just a few moments. Talk about uh, what we are expecting, what we saw, and then what we are expecting here for the coming week. If you take a look here. We'll start with the monthly chart. Uh, you can see here a couple things that I have drawn. One of the things that we look at here is pretty routinely is the uh, sweet spot on retracements here. That's the 70.5. And this is the high. It's hard to believe that we had a high, this high, uh, at uh, 147.27 a barrel. That was right at the uh, beginning of the financial crisis in 2008, July of 08, the price was 147. We had swung all the way down uh, by December of that year. So in five short months, there was a move all the way down to the low at 32.48. Uh, <clears throat> we hit that level twice, came down and tested it really a third time. And we began this rally up into where we eventually got back up to 113.51. And that is the sweet spot of your 70.5. Fast forward just a few years, seven uh, to be precise. We're back down testing again, uh, that 3248 level. So if you take a look down here, we had this area of support going back here, uh, began to be support in 03 and in 04, then once again in 08 and the beginning of 09. And here we are testing it again. So it'll be interesting this week uh, to see if we come down. So uh, the low of this week, of course, is 35.16. So you're really just uh, about two and a half dollars away from that. So one really uh, good down day may get you down into this zone here uh, to test. I would expect a reaction around these lows. I would expect a reaction around these lows at some point. So we'll see what happens. That will be a key area. We'll call it the 32.50s that we'll be watching for this week as we continue to push through it. I'm telling you that for a couple of reasons, and I'll show you uh, from a technical standpoint. Uh, where we, why I feel like that, that might be the case this coming week, and then uh, we'll look at some structure off of that. This is a 15 minute chart that we look at. The red, sorry, let's start with the black dashed lines. That represents the Friday trading session rolling into the Sunday, Monday trading session. And then, of course, these red lines differentiate the days of the week. So this would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. One of the things that we look for. As we go through the week, so Monday and Tuesday are typically the days where the low or the high of the week will be set for this particular market. So again, Monday, Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, the low or the high of the week will be set for the week. And that has been the case here, um, again, being proven out again week after week. This is the high here. It's hard to see behind these black dotted lines, but this is the spike up at the uh, open on Sunday evening and into Monday session. That is the high there. And of course, that was the high for the entire week. We had several structure points along the way that got broken. That was confirmation. But the real uh, confirmation for me this week was when you grab this swing high down to this swing low on Tuesday, uh, we got right into just a few ticks away from our sweet spot, the high on this bar here. Uh, the high here was, let me see if I can get this selected. Let me uh, turn this off here for a second. Okay, so the high of that bar was 38.99. We missed the 70.5 by uh, 12 ticks right here. And so once we get up into the 61.8 and almost to the 70.9, we were fairly certain that the market was going to fall. Now, understanding that that uh, is going to be the case and actually capitalizing on it uh, is, is another story. We'll talk about that in just a few moments. But if you go back, this was the high of the week, this Sunday night, Monday. Come back here, the high of the week was on Monday. Come back here, the high of the week was on Tuesday. And again, the high and the low was made on Wednesday. Or sorry, on Monday, rather. The high and low of the week was made on Monday. Then you come back to the high, and you get the idea. So again, one of the things that we watch for in here fairly routinely, and we'll be watching for it this week as well, is that the high or low of the week gets made on that Monday or Tuesday, and that will be a tone setter for us going into the rest of the week. Now, a couple things coming up this particular week that may change some of that um, as we as I digress just a little bit into what's coming up. You've got the uh, FOMC meeting minutes on Wednesday. 
Wednesday or Thursday of this coming week. Anyway, next week is the FOMC meeting minutes, and that will play a big factor in what happens with oil. There was a bit of a pause over the market this past week as we were waiting for uh, some of that information to be released. So let's take a look here at your daily chart. Now we'll come into the daily chart here and take a peek real quick. All right, so you can see here on Monday we broke this structure point. We were had a low that we had been targeting at the 24th of February uh, that we'd spiked down and had a nice little rally out of that area. In fact, we made a higher high and then a high and then a higher high, breaking, breaking structure. And this could be looked at as a head and shoulders pattern here on your daily chart. And then we have since flushed through, <clears throat> excuse me, we have it since flushed through uh, that zone here on Monday, and we have a potential move to the downside developing here, a continued push. Let's talk about where uh, that potential move may terminate. As we go through here, we'll grab <clears throat> we'll grab this pitchfork and we'll bring it down from swing point to swing point here. And you can see uh, that the market got into some oversold territory here, and then we began to ride the. Uh, one of the extension line deviation lines off of this pitchfork and with a potential targeting area of this center line down here around this 3301 remember I talked to you about 3250 uh, being a potential area of interest here in the coming week and that was the lows uh, back into the end of 08 and 09 and here is more confirmation of that so again we're going to use uh, this extension tool we're going to, sorry, I meant to go this direction with it. We're going to use this extension tool. And you can see that the 1.27% range extension, we hovered here for three days, right around this 3661. The next level down below you is 3265. That's the 1.618% uh, range extension right down here at this uh, 3265 area. And so be mindful of that as we are, that is the targeting area that we talked about there on the monthly chart. And this will be an area of targeting uh, for us here, as I suspect that this move to the downside this coming week will continue. Now, the only caveat to that is, again, we do have uh, the FOMC meeting minutes. And I guess if there's some big surprise out of that, uh, that that could change this targeting idea. But as we sit here on Sunday morning, uh, getting ready for the trading week, this is the area uh, that we would be looking to target based on these studies. Now, let's talk a little bit about the numbers from this past week as we get set to move into the coming week. This uh, this screenshot will be posted along with this video on the website in the results section. But we did have a tricky day on Thursday. I don't let this happen to me terribly often. But again, uh, it is one of the reasons why you do trade a nice funded account uh, and in this particular combine, uh, we are up about $3,000 in 14 days, 2970 to be precise. In the last 14 days, one of the things that we've talked about is the market's been a little bit choppy and bouncy, even though it looks like a nice free fall. Some of, most of that uh, free fall has been occurring uh, after uh, the market is closed. I'll show you that in just a few minutes. But we did have a, a, a tricky day here on December 10th uh, that we did get, again, I don't let this happen to me terribly often. Uh, but it did happen. We had a nice rebound day on Friday. And you can see here that we are, uh, again, in 14 trading days, we're up $297 on this combine. Long way to go still to get it finished. But again, we are 13 out of 14 winning days. Here's what I'm talking about in terms of, um, in terms of the market moving after our Moving after hours here. So let me, I'm trying to find the, <laughs> give me a second here. Okay, I need the uh, vertical line. There it is. Sorry about that. All right. So if you look here, there is the 130 hour. Okay, I'm just going to draw a vertical line right there at 130. And I'm going to come back here and do the same thing on this day. And there is 130. And let's just mark off the open. Okay, there's the open on that particular day. And there is the open on this day. All right, so <clears throat> if you take a look here, uh, after the open, you had you basically had a range of 36.57 down to the low at 35.35. So 57 to 35 is 22. So it's 122 ticks in this range. 
more than 30% of the day's range occurred after the 1.30 time frame, right? If you recall, if you were in the room, one of the areas that we were, or you listened to us at the Top Step Trader Room, one of the areas that we were talking about achieving was this target down here at uh, 35.22, which was the 200% range extension. We were looking to target down into this zone and come all the way down into this 35.22, which we eventually did. But again, that was the bar right before the close, the 15-minute bar right before the close when we actually did that. So we had long since stopped trading on that particular day. And again, this is what's been happening here uh, somewhat recently. This is the day that I got chopped around, the, the, the losing day that I had. And you could see that we really did not break out of this range. After the open, we were at 36.52 up to 37.28. So that's about, uh, what is that, 52 to 28, 76 ticks from low to high for the entire trading session on that day. It wasn't until after 1.30 that you had the nice breakdown into the daily S1. And so I don't let this happen to me very often, but I did get caught in the chop on this particular day, and that happens. That's part of trading. If you are watching this video and you feel like that a trader should never lose, a professional trader should never lose, then I would strongly suggest that you recalibrate your expectation levels because traders lose. That's part of the game. What you hope to do is to stack more winning days than you do losing days and not to get caught up in the chop. But again, it's going to happen to you occasionally. And that happened to us on Thursday. It is what it is as we moved forward and had a nice rebound day on this particular trading day here. So what does this all mean? Well, there's a couple things uh, that this means right now. This coming week is going to be the last full trading week before the Christmas holidays. So I expect that there's going to be some action this week as we lead into that. Uh, it is also contract rollover week, the beginning of contract rollover week. This contract will expire somewhere around the 20th. And so, again, as the volume begins to split and the markets begin to move uh as, we, as the market begins to move from the uh, January 16 to the February 16 contract, we always know that that has the potential to provide us with some challenging days ahead. <clears throat> so one of the things that we'll be doing, as we have been doing here over the last uh, several weeks, and again, you can see that in my numbers here, all right? I've been very cautious. Um, I've been very cautious in the way that we've traded here over the past several weeks. That's going to be more of the same until we get uh, on the other side of the holiday period and into January and back to some normal trading uh, type ranges and trading activity. So again, we've got last full week of trading this week. We have the uh, contract rollover period developing. Also, we have the Fed rate decision coming out this week. That will be interesting as well. Also, on the 18th, it will be options expiration on Friday the 18th. So again, Lots of things that will be developing here to uh, cause some potentially uh, off-kilter activity uh, for the market. So again, we'll be treading lightly as we head through this week, and uh, we'll be looking for more of the same in terms of positive results. So again, as always, I want to say thank you for listening to the video here, checking out the uh, website and the blog posts. And until tomorrow, Monday, I want to wish you good luck and good trading.